Hello and welcome to more Graveyard Keeper. We are continuing our work on just improving the general area. And someone pointed out that we can put some things in here. The cupboards to, to store things in the updated cooking table. So I think we're actually going to... There's so much work we can do to actually improve things here. Very, very intriguing. Um, what we will look at first is the... Maybe the cupboard and an updated cooking table. Because that appears to be a new thing that we can get. Which just required... It was beams, complex iron parts, and nails. Of which we should have plenty. And we've also got to make sure we've got more storage for everything. So if it was beams, it required complex iron parts. Okay. So we're going to make a couple of complex iron parts. I'm actually going to make two more. Just to make sure we get a whole bunch of them. There we go. And some nails, because why not? Now, on to making some beams. We're going to make six beams. And our inventory is full, as to be expected. So we're just going to chuck the silver nuggets in there so we can take that. Now, let's look at what we can do in here. So, up oh, planks. <laughs> So the good news is, is we've got a bunch of beams that are now there, ready and waiting to go into whatever project we come up with next. And we're going to make six points. I think that'll be a good number. Whoop. So a few little updates in the kitchen for both storage and, and work. Updated cooking table. There we are. The cupboard requires fitch and simple parts. I don't know the difference between the old-fashioned cupboard and the new cupboard, but I kind of like the idea of an old-fashioned cupboard. So let's go make some more planks and do that. There we go. old-fashioned cupboard. Oh. Okay. That was a different thing. That was literally just looks. <laughs> Whoops. Um, the end result is... Oh, a white fish fillet. Uh, okay. And then we've got pretty much everything else. I don't really see any major change in this, so... So who knows? We can make more storage at the end too. And we can put the fish there too. So let's have a cheeky little nap until the morning. Get that energy up naturally and avoid any sleep debuff. There we go, nice and refreshed. Right, we're going to get those simple iron parts. Are there any down here? Yes, there are. And some fitch. And just some extra simple iron parts, just in case. One of the comments today was around making sure I've got storage in all the locations, and I think that's a brilliant idea. So, shout out to whoever uh, left that message. Nails! How did we forget nails? <sighs> it can be sometimes one of those moments where you spend five minutes trying to remember what you were trying to do. And then you manage to do it, and you're like, okay... Now what? <laughs> Where was I? So we've upgraded the kitchen here.
Um, what? Okay, it's meant to be the household utensils rack then. Because we just updated that cupboard and it, the cupboard gives us nothing. Okay, that's very strange. What do we need for more of that? We need beams, I think. For the uh, utensils. So we'll check that one out. Uh, I'm going to put the stone there, put the beams there. We might need more planks too. I don't mind using a whole ton of wood because we've got our trusty... Trust these zombies up at the the tree section doing some work too, if I recall. Though I may have changed that. Household utensils rack. Right, what can this hold? Right, this is just for storing. Okay, there we go. And we can put that dough, pastry dough there as well. So, we've got that done. That is a very good start. Uh, it only took us six minutes to do. <laughs> We've got the ceramic jugs as well, and the porcelain pitchers. White powder, I've been told, comes from bones, and doesn't actually require anything to be, um, like, any skulls to be lost. So, we can't put that one there. We're just going to leave that there. Now we're going to head down. And we're going to check out what's needed here. Now, there's no place we can put our storage, but we have a preparation place, which is one of those, and a pallet which just stores the body, if I recall. So we can get some more fitch and, fitch and nails to do that one. We also have to do a lot of building down here. Get a whole bunch of things going. Um, things like the, I think, the alchemy workbench. Is this an alchemy workbench? It's a church workbench. So we've got the alchemy workbench to do. Which we can do, so let's just... That is quite large. Yeah, that's, that's very large. Uh, we can put that there. Let's put that there. So we've got the alchemy workbench, the alchemy mill, and the alchemy rack. And then we got the scroll shelf, desk, church workbench, hand mixer. All of those good things. So we're going to have to build a whole bunch of things down here. Just to get it all ready to go. Um... Oh, okay. So, ash and blood. Oil goo. Not complete. Alright, let's study the oil goo. Can be decomposed into something. Um, white liquid. Not sure what that is. Gonna have to probably do a little bit of research. Um, feel free to leave uh, information down in the comments, but chances are I will have already looked it up. So it's up to you. We've got the mill to do and the hand mixer. So we're going to need 12 planks, two polished stone and eight nails. All right, so I've just written that down so I can, so I can remember. Okay, so no planks or polished stone or nails there. Uh, we got some stone here, but we can always work it elsewhere. 
Let us go here. What do we need for polished stone? So polished brick of stone takes 10. There we go. And we'll just check here for planks. We got fitch and beams, two planks. So we now need just 10 more. Doesn't matter because we're going to need the whole lot anyways. There we go. And then eight nails. All done. So we can duck downstairs. And work on putting some things in place down here. So because the hand, the alchemy's over, alchemy bench is over here. Um, that looks like it goes there nicely, and then the mill can go here. We still have the alchemy rack and such to build, but hopefully this should give us some more insight. Right, so. Nothing goes in there. That's okay. We've got the oil goo. We need four oil goos. Uh, that took ash and... All right, let's hand mix some fat and see what comes out. Slowing solution. Okay. Let's study the slowing solution. Probably used in making potions. If I put, no, can't put the slowing solution in there. That's all good. We've at least looked through it. There's nothing else to make here. We do, sh we should now have some beeswax, which means we should be able to make some of these candles. Uh, alchemy workbench. We didn't make alchemy workbench, didn't we? That's this one. So. Acceleration powder and slowing solution. Let's see what happens. Energy elixir. Okay. Um, I'm assuming there's a whole bunch of things to look up into in that. So we're just going to leave those there. We'll come back for them. Um, I'm sure there's, there's stuff to do with it. It's just at the moment, it's nothing that we're really jumping into. Um, we've also got the chaos solution there. Some conical things. Speed potion. Right. You've unlocked a new technology and got speed potion. That's kind of super handy. But I don't know where it actually comes into it. Like, I don't know where there's... Oh, there's alchemy right here. Advanced alchemy. Embalming liquids. And then embalming. Hmm. Not sure what to go with that yet. Um, we're, we're all right with this one at the moment. Book writing, inventing stories, and random text generator sounds like a good, solid way to go. Um, got the farming stuff to work out there. And then we've got... We could probably do the the combat things, but I don't think it's like super necessary at this point. We're, we're not diving into the dungeon yet. So we've got prayers for souls, updated and useful equip equipment. So from my recollection, these two, let's, okay. We got the wall crematorium and the other one as well. And we are coming to the morning for this. 
Soft church benches require silk, jointing, and planks. I don't think we have that. The incense burners might require some. We could probably get away with upgrading some candelabras as well. And the soul receiver. Let's get some conical flasks, simple iron parts, and wooden planks. Okay. Oh, apparently there's a body. It says body's one out of one. Where could it be? Did I leave it in here? I did. Um... I think we can still turn it into a good zombie. I'm just going to take that bone because of what I was told. And if we put this here. Yep. Cannot resurrect body is rotten. Oh, okay. So those rotten things will actually limit what we can do with it. It won't count as a full star body. So burn it does. There we go, now we should get a body. Won't be the first time I forget one too. Okay, yeah, I don't think we have the flasks. Unfortunately, oh no, we, we got one. I think we needed more than one. But that's okay. We'll knock this one out. We'll be able to get another zombie which we'll be able to get this week, and then we will uh, check it all out. But that's where we're going to wrap up for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had an enjoyable time. Leave tips for storage, uh, various procedures, and anything about alchemy as well. I will spend some time reading it, but I love seeing the comments and suggestions as well. So um, if you've got any ideas, if you've got any tips or or anything that you do, please do let, let me know in that down below. If you liked it, please leave a like as well. And if you want to see more of these episodes, please do leave, uh, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, bye for now.